Domo Domo! What is up, everybody? This is Official Jutsu Kaisen Translator Steady here. Welcome back to another Jutsu Kaisen Manga Lounge. Thanks very much for coming back. I hope you've got a, got a drink ready. I, I've got my good old-fashioned H2O here. Um, it's been pretty warm around these parts lately, so... Uh, gotta remember to stay hydrated. Yeah, I mean, the obvious news these days with Jutes Kaisen is that the trailer came out and, I mean, it, it, it blew me away, to say the least. Um, I did upload a, uh, a reaction video to that, so if you uh, haven't seen that yet, uh, feel free to check it out. But be warned, it's uh, of a grown man crying, so <laughs> tears of joy, but um, yeah, it was definitely an emotional ride. Um, but yeah, there, uh, I... I am working on a uh, trailer analysis video right now and I'm putting a little bit of uh, extra effort into it. Not not that I don't always put effort into my videos, but uh, this one uh, is going to be particularly special. Uh, it's going to be a little bit more of a kind of refined quality and this and that. So uh, do look forward to that. I don't have an exact uh, date on when it's going to be out, but hopefully soon. I want to kind of ride the wave while it's still, uh, still hot, so to speak. Um, but yeah, also the news is uh, Chapter 106 is part of a uh, special weekly Shonen Jump uh, magazine this week. But uh, enough on that. Uh, I'll, I might actually, I might actually, if I can get my hands on the magazine, I'll probably have a little uh, manga shokai on that as well, a little show and tell. Uh, so do keep an eye out for that. But yeah, as always, uh, thank you very much for uh, liking and commenting um, if you do choose to do so. We're immediately treated to uh, not only just a color page, but like color three pages, or what? What do you call this? Um, the digital version. It's uh, almost kind of like one image and then one kind of double spread. But I'm assuming maybe it's kind of like a fold-out deal. I don't know. I can't confirm that right now. But uh, we have uh, Naobito Zenin, and we find out the name of uh, Squidward here uh, basically Cthulhu right but he's got kind of a red aesthetic instead of a green aesthetic um, find out that the name is Dagon uh, which I'll have to kind of look into more and see if there's any significance on that name or not but um, then yeah we have this awesome awesome two page spread with the whole crew here very kind of stylized uh, definitely got that Jutsu Kaisen aesthetic but a little bit more even more cartoony almost I would call it a few points of interest I would say is uh, Toge's ever-changing hair color. Like if you've seen my salmon t-shirt, uh, he has blue hair color there and uh, sometimes he's got blonde hair color. Here he's got more of kind of like a, I don't know what you call it, like a khaki, <laughs> light brown <laughs> kind of hair color, which is interesting. Um, we see a playful cloud, the kind of three-section staff that Maki is holding, uh, which is red. Um, and it could be that it's just kind of the colors are kind of like interesting just because it's a color page and they just kind of mess with it. But, um, and then we also have, uh, Yuji with, uh, his, uh, kind of divergent fist thing going on. It looks almost kind of like a flame. Skuna in the background, uh, and, uh, I, I almost missed it in the bottom left here. Um, we have, uh, Dagon before he you know, evolves into the form, Cthulhu form that he is now. And of course, I like the uh, little uh, prison realm that Ghetto is holding with uh, the the little avatar version of, uh, of uh, Gojo. But yeah, let's move on. It's uh, it's chapter 107. I'm sorry. I I keep on, uh, I think I think when you work on the series kind of like this, you're ahead of schedule and behind is it, it's it's kind of messes with the time so it's 107 i'm sorry the shibuya incident part 25 yep but anyways uh let's move on so of course we uh, ended up last chapter with uh dagon evolving into this kind of cthulhu form um and we got naobito here of course that kind of mysterious um mysterious kind of weird frame power that he had um and we do find out more about that in this chapter uh, but Dagon almost, he's got this kind of ball of water going on, almost kind of re reminiscent of uh, Frieza with his um, 
they call it death ball in Japanese. I don't know if it's the same in uh, English, but uh, but then boom, and then just this huge crash of water comes out, and of course Maki is kind of taken off guard here. And on uh, page eight, she makes the comment um, that she compares. You know, she says that it's uh, not even comparable to that Max Elephant is not comparable to the amount of water that's here. So that Max Elephant is uh, less water. And Max Elephant, of course, is uh, Megumi's uh, elephant, uh, Shikigami, right? Um, but she manages to use her spear in a creative way here and uh, manages to uh, stay above water. But then we have this really cool panel right here of Naobito. All of a sudden, we see all these little frames coming out. But then he goes on to comment here saying, do you know how many frames are in one second of an animated sequence? So here's our giveaway in terms of our hint of what his curse technique is. It seems like it is indeed kind of what I was surmising last week that uh, it has kind of a film element to it. Um, and then Dagon obviously, uh, he's saying, hey, my name is not Curse Spirit, which I kind of like that. <laughs> These kind of like nuanced lines and stuff, you know, it really makes the the story kind of more involved um, but then Naobito keeps on going on saying like it's all about resolution increasing frame frame rate and 4k this and 60 frames per second that uh, but of course we he also have him introduce himself as Dagon and then uh, it's it's interesting because uh, I think you know when I was first translating this I thought that Naobito was kind of getting really into it in terms of like the theory of film and this and that and and kind of hinting at his power but it was i think with the following pages meant to be just a distraction so nanami could get in close and that is indeed what we have but even with nanami's uh you know ratio technique uh it still wasn't enough like he he managed to get a hit on dagon but it's not like it really did any damage to him and of course Maki was definitely uh you know it's it's I, I like I like the fact that you know it's it's of course I like Maki and I'd like her to uh do well and all that but uh you know Naobito's little comment in the last chapter saying hey you're way out of your league seems to be kind of coming true here um but then uh we see Naobito come in and he it looks like he kind of slaps on probably one of those little glass frames right and then boom all of a sudden Dagon is in this uh contained in this frame here and even the uh the sound effect here the boom ving right it's supposed to kind of signify almost kind of like a digital quality or kind of like it kind of converts into this boom, this kind of video um but then we see man we see Nanami coming in with the <laughs> so badass and crashing through the glass and um but even then it's still uh still isn't enough you know he comments that uh on page 14 here that uh you know it's no damage no it's it's more like dagon just has this kind of like boundless hp you know hit points uh life so to speak for you you know you know the video gamers out there know what hp is um but you know, then Naobito comments here saying even two grade one sorcerers aren't enough to exercise you. So even though he is uh, considered elite grade one, um, he still refers to himself as grade one. So it's it's not like he, he, it sounds like he doesn't really classify himself necessarily too differently than, you know, Nanami. He definitely sees him as a peer. And it's interesting to note here too that Naobito you know, for all his kind of brashness and kind of pompousness, it seems like he definitely does um, respect Nanami. So I'm kind of curious to see what the relationship between Naobito and Nanami is here. Although, you know, it's it's kind of, it's kind of, uh, you can tell that Nanami is kind of fed up with Naobito and stuff too, but there definitely is this kind of uh, mutual respect, I would say. Um... But then Maki is kind of humiliated here on page 15, saying that uh, if the geezer hadn't used this curse technique, uh, that she would have been killed. Uh, which, you know, it's always, uh, you know, you you kind of, of course, Akutami-sensei, I mean, not of course, I mean, it could be, you never know, um, wouldn't kill off a character like Maki in a place like this. But 
um, it does go to show that they're always kind of on needle's edge, right? That um, at any time someone could be killed just like that. So um, it's interesting to always kind of keep that in the back of the mind. Um, but then uh, we see Naobito kind of testing uh, Dagon here with saying and commenting that he's got a shield of water. Um, and of course that's a pretty strong power as it is, but he's saying, well, maybe you can even still do more. Which, sure enough, we uh, we see later on in the chapter. So, um, but Naobito is saying, you know, before you can pull out any of your other uh, techniques or anything up uh, up your sleeve, what are we going to do? We're just going to hit you with speed, hit you hard and fast. So, we see, uh, we see the three kind of team up here. But it's definitely Naobito that's putting on the pressure. But, uh, you know, even Maki's holding her own here. And, of course, Nanami can hold his own as well. But, um... Dagon definitely comments that uh, that you know Naobito's the one that's putting the pressure on him, and uh, it's it's so badass because you see Dagon kind of float up into the air, um, but then immediately it's Naobito right behind him, um, which here you know you're just kind of reading and it. maybe it's kind of like he jumped or something like that. But my theory is that. Um, he's able to manipulate his kind of like film curse technique on himself as well and um, possibly use it to sort of teleport um, because remember in in the last chapter uh, you know when we first saw him use it you know Nanami definitely commented on how quick he is um, so it's not only that he can use this film thing on other on other uh, on his opponents I'm pretty sure that he can probably use it on himself as well to possibly have this kind of teleporting effect um, which is really cool because on page 19 here you know as he's commenting well I'd, I'd go up high too and he does and then immediately after that you know we see in the next frame on page 20 that you know he's hitting him down but immediately after he's right behind him and of course we've seen characters move very very quickly like Mei Mei and Yuji and you know other people but um but certainly this I think these two frames right here are supposed to kind of give a clue that Naobito is kind of manipulating his curse technique in a way for kind of maneuver for a uh, movement uh, powers as well which could be very very strong um, you know, he can move in close by using it on himself, possibly, and then hit his opponent with the frame like he did in uh, the previous page, uh, which is pretty badass. Um, so, as of right now, we've seen Naobito use his um, technique as kind of a confinement technique, but and possibly kind of a uh, movement technique as well. And it'll be curious to see, since the aesthetic is kind of a film-related um, technique, whether, like I mentioned in the last video, he's able to kind of do these, if you're a fan of a Beautiful Joe, uh, the video game, you know, he's able to kind of like speed up or uh, move backwards, which I think what it was is that when he used it on Dagon, it was kind of like a put him in a frame and pause him. Um, so possibly he could use it on himself and fast forward, right? Um, and he can possibly slow down and things like that too, or... Um, it'll be, it'll be curious what else he can do. Uh, maybe he can even do like a record. Who knows? <laughs> you know, when, when it comes to Jujutsu Kaisen, the possibilities are kind of endless and always very creative, right? So, Dagon comments that Naobito is probably even faster than Jogo. Naobito saying, hey, don't even think about it. And what he means by that is he notices, you see here, Dagon tr kind of using a, uh, like a hand seal, right? And possibly trying to use domain expansion but it's too late um on page 22 uh we see the words domain expansion come up which is always trouble especially we have to remember that dagon is a special grade right um and i think we kind of lose sight of how powerful domain expansion really is because when we've seen it before it well, you know, Jogo using it against uh, Gojo, and of course, jo uh, Gojo is just kind of on a different level. But um, once you're in domain expansion, unless you have one yourself and a quite strong one, you're in big, big trouble, right? 
Um, and it's kind of hard to tell here what's going on. It looks like a seal, I mean, the seal kind of comes out on his stomach here, forms on the stomach here. And it's unclear whether, because in this little panel it says domain expansion pointing at the seal at the stomach, so maybe it is, maybe that's actually supposed to be where he's, kind of the mouth is, where he's talking. Um, you know, because, I mean, I'm not like a biology um, expert or anything like that, but... Um, you know, you'll have aquatic life that looks like they have a mouth in one place, but it's actually in a different place. Um, so it could be that kind of aesthetic, possibly. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you think is going on here. But then uh, the last page, uh, we have the beach, right? And remember, this isn't the first time that we've seen this beach. Um, when we're first introduced to Maichtel, um, it's we see we see this beach, so... But that was indeed in uh, Dagon's uh, domain expansion, right? So, uh, so they're here, but no beach chairs this time. <laughs> uh, looks like serious trouble. But I like this aesthetic where it seems very kind of like a beautiful place. You got the shell on the beach and uh, the nice water and the breeze and this and that. But you know, you know they're in trouble. So uh, it will be curious to see how. Uh, they get out of it in chapter 108 next week. Um, and yeah, we'll find out more then. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought of chapter uh, 107. Chapter 107. Um, <laughs> let me know uh, what you what you think is going to go on next week. Uh, we only see uh, Naobito here, but um, is Nanami and Maki there as well? I, mean, I don't know. Maybe he only got Naobito in there. Hey, that's it. <laughs> Thanks very much for leaving a like and leaving a comment and, uh, you know, do keep an eye out for, um, do keep an eye out for, uh, my, uh, trailer analysis video. Of course, I'll definitely have it out before next week's, uh, Manga Lounge, Jutsu Kaisen Manga Lounge, but, um, hopefully within the next few days or so. With that, hey, you know how we do. Mata yoroshiku! See you next time!